In today's workout, we are going to be focusing on the activation and the strengthening of those lower limbs as well as into those lower abdominal muscles. We want to really focus on getting those beautiful activations so we can tone up those lower limbs. Welcome back to Life of the Zest and thank you for joining me on the mat today. For this workout, you don't need any equipment, just your mat and some energy. Let's get straight into it. We are going to be starting seated in the center of the mat, starting with a few warm-up exercises before we get into our sequence. Let's take a deep breath in, stacking that vertebra. Legs are extended out in front of you. Arms are extended out in front of you. Deep breath in, exhaling, tucking in head, neck and chest all the way down, allowing that spine to stretch out and take deep inhale, exhale, rolling yourself back up to stack that vertebra and as we're going, we're just challenging ourselves to reach a little bit further on each repetition, just allowing that spine to stretch out, feeling that stretch down the back of those legs. Stacking that vertebra. And let's do two more, synchronizing our breaths with our movements. Reaching forward, slowly rolling yourself back up. Last one, we're going to stay in that forward fold position. Deep breath in. Exhale, extending forward. Let's take a deep inhale, reach a little bit further. And now we're just extending that upper back and we're just going to hold in this position for a few seconds, activating that tummy. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. And slowly releasing that back extension and reaching forward. Take a deep inhale and slowly rolling yourself back up. Let's prepare to roll ourselves onto the floor. So I want you to control that activation, sucking in that core. As you lean back, so as far as you can control, now rounding that spine and slowly rolling yourself all the way down to lie down on that mat, extending those arms overhead and now slowly bringing those hands onto the mat. Let's bring our legs into a flex position, feet are comfortably on that floor fist width apart and a foot and a half away from those glutes to take a deep inhale going straight into our pelvic curl using that core to activate that tummy sucking belly to spine and keeping here yeah, let's lift that right leg up into tabletop and the sequence goes as follows single leg toe tap into hip drop and that's one and we're inhaling and exhaling as we're working, leading through that stabilizing heel, activating those glutes, and just making sure that we're using that core to make sure that that pelvis is tilted towards that chin, and you're not half extending that back. And last two, And slowly dropping that right leg down to lift that left leg up. Deep breath in. Exhale, toe tap into hip drop. That's one. Keep going. Remember, synchronizing that breath with that movement. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, toe tap. Keep working. You want to feel that activation in those glutes. And let's do two more. And slowly dropping that left leg down, keeping those hips up towards the sky. Let's tilt that pelvis just a little bit more. We're going to open those knees away from each other, back to center, into hip drop, and rolling back up. And you're not just lifting and lowering those hips, you are going through that back you're articulating through that spine one vertebra at a time rolling down then rolling back up and then pulling those knees away from each other keep working you should be getting a beautiful burn into those hamstrings as well as those glutes and even into those inner thighs and let's do two more and that's one and when you pull those knees away, try and make sure that you're not letting those hips drop. Keeping 
those hips there. We're just going to do little pulsations of those knees inwards and outwards for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And little pulsations of those hips up and down towards the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lifting those hips up to roll yourself back down, extending that left arm overhead and now turning over onto that left hand side resting your shoulders on that elbow and I want your hips in line with those knees in line with those shoulders coming straight up into a side plank position we're going to open those knees then drop them then lift up so that's the movement and let's go that's one keeping that core tight, making sure you have a good posture into that shoulder and that you're not slumping into that tummy. Hips are up and forward, core is activated, opening that clam, then straight up into a leg lift. Keeping core tight, let's do three more. Remember to keep breathing as you're working, lifting that other arm up towards the sky if you want more of a challenge, otherwise holding it there to just make sure that you are activating. And last one, lifting up and down, going straight into the next sequence. We are going to drop that hip, lift back up, lift that leg, and that's the movement. And we're doing eight of these. And lifting up, dropping hip, lifting hip, lifting leg, dropping leg. That's halfway, four, Keep working, let's push through that beautiful burn. And last one, we're gonna go straight into our pulsations. We're lifting that leg and we're going to do little pulsations up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And little pulsations of those hips, dropping that leg down and up and down for 10, 9, Eight, keep working, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly dropping those hips down to lie down onto your tummy. I want your hands resting just in front of your head and you're resting your forehead on your hands. I just want you to make sure that you're activating those glutes as well as that core. If you do struggle with low back pain, I'd recommend you getting a towel and just wrapping it, putting it under that front part of your pelvis. Otherwise, you just want to make sure that you're tilting that pelvis. Now we're going to lift our knees off the floor. So we've just elevated our knees slightly. We are going to bend those knees. So a little pulsation towards the ceiling, very small, and then extension. That's one, and up, and extend. That's two. Pushing knees, feet to ceiling, then back down slightly into extension. That's three. Keep working. Very small movement, but you can feel that intense activation into those glutes. And just make sure that you're not straining that neck and the shoulders while you're working. And last one and up and slowly down extending those legs going straight into our altered swimming so we're just lifting those legs up and down for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 flexing those ankles and drawing our legs outwards to the sides and back to center for 10 counts that's one keeping going to Keeping that core tight, three, four, and five, and six. Keep going, inhale, center, exit out, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slowly dropping yourself down and lifting yourself all the way up into that rest position. Just pushing the shoulders into the ground, just allowing that lower back to stretch out and holding for a few seconds before we turn over onto that right hand side. 
very nice let's keep working resting on that right elbow and getting yourself into that side plank position shoulders are stacked hips are stacked core is activated and again hand up to the ceiling or on your glute we are going to open those knees drop them down lift that leg that's the sequence and let's go that's one keep working just making sure you're feeling that activation sucking in that pelvic floor as you're working and we're halfway let's keep going and holding for a little bit going straight into our leg raise into hip drop that's one and to keep working keeping core tight you should be feeling a nice activation all the way down the side of that right body as well as into that left glute and let's do three more and last one after this one before we go straight into our pulsations and up and lifting that leg up and ten nine eight seven six remember that posture into that shoulder i'm feeling a nice burn into that right glute and three two one dropping that leg straight into those little pulsations with those hips for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and slowly coming down lying on your back for that final sequence in that supine position lifting right leg into tabletop then left leg interlacing hands behind your head lifting head neck and chest off the ground so we are going to do double leg toe tap into tabletop crunch that's one into toe tap lowering head neck and chest lifting head neck and chest into that toe tap remember not to strain that neck when working you just want to make sure that that core is activated and last one before we progress the movement and lifting up keeping head neck and chest off the floor extending those legs and straight into our flutter kicks for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 bringing legs to center bringing arms around rotating those palms to face the floor and pushing that air into the ground for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and let's go for another 10 seconds let's push through if we can sucking belly to spine keeping core tight eight seven six five four three two one slowly hugging those knees to chest and allowing that body to recover looking left and right very nice let's place that right ankle on that left knee as you hug that knee to chest Allowing that heart rate to slowly come down. And just allowing those glutes to stretch out. We've worked them really nicely. Let's place that left ankle on that right knee, hugging that right knee to chest. And just let this body recover as you let that heart rate slowly come back to normal let's extend both legs onto the mat extending arms overhead taking a deep inhale exhaling lifting yourself all the way up into seated thanks for joining me in that short but effective workout i hope you feel that glute hamstring and quad burn i really had a lot of fun and i hope you did too looking forward to seeing you in that next video